negativity. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of the structures and everything, th these two cities are way ahead, uh, head and shoulders above anybody that comes next. Okay, we just keep our fingers crossed and wait. But IOC is actually saying that they're still awaiting official notification from the National Olympic Committee of uh, of uh, Hungary. So that's when they would know. The body okay. language is enough. It's Let's enough. use that. Well, the body language. They know, they've not gotten that official. Official, but the body language, so the message the is clear. The government have announced it. So look, look, they're pulling out from there. Okay, now talking about Formula One, our different cars are actually unveiling their yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. New things are coming up and all. But the latest is Force India, and they said they actually want to compete because they want they are having, according to the, the drivers, they, they have the best car right now. Mm -hmm. but, but they're forgetting Mercedes, you know. No, you see, Force India is <laughs> interesting. Of, oh, Before the change of rules, you, you have to cast your mind back to Ferrari and uh, Sebastian Vettel, how dominant um, he was. Before the change of rules, and Lewis Hamilton just came came into it with Mercedes, everything changed. Now there's another change of rules, and let's not forget that Force India did well last season, and now they are they are in it. I mean, and Lewis Hamilton has told us, look, I don't know what's going to happen this season. A lot of changes, so we'll see what that pans out. But Cecilia, let's not just uh, wave <laughs> wave these people away. Uh, we might just be in for a surprise. Because they had their best season ever last year, finishing mm. behind Mercedes, mm -hmm. Red Bull and Ferrari. And all the teams <laughs> unveiling their new race car for the season. Okay, we'll just see how this will pan out. We'll go for a break now. When we come back, we'll get to listen to some of the drivers, you know, talking about how they are ready for the new season starting in March. to prepare myself for this for this coming year we're gonna have the fastest cars probably in the history of formula one which will demand a lot on the driver and yeah definitely looking forward and up for the challenge that has to be the target and and that's simply our target you know we have to improve what we've done last year and uh, that means trying to achieve the third place in the constructors it's our main target I, I want to improve as well what i did last year so that will mean achieving more than a couple of podiums so so yeah it's it's it has to be a big year for us otherwise we will be disappointed it will be much different uh, driving style will be different much more grip so you can push more the corner uh, the power will be less effective out of the corner uh, 
because you will have no more grip, so less wheel spin. Uh, so you can attack the corner differently. Um, but more than that, I think the physical point of view will be uh, much more important than the previous years. Uh, it was hard already in the last years, but uh, I think it will be uh, twice harder this year. Uh, my aim is definitely to, to learn a lot from the team, uh, especially in the first test. Um, learn from Sergio as well. He's a great driver. What he's been doing has been, uh, been awesome for the team. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't wait to, to start working with them. Uh, and then for the season, I want to step up each time uh, and be straight away in the pace in Australia. Obviously, they will be ready when it starts in Australia. Sergio uh, Perez and, of course, Esteban and Uncle, both of them talking ahead of the new season that's starting in March. Yeah. Well, you know, the, those guys who construct the cars, um, I mean, sometimes they, they, they know what we don't know. They see what we don't see. And the guys from Force India, uh, I mean, let, let's note what they've said, that they have probably the f best car, the fastest car now, and uh, it demands a lot from the drivers. And, you know, I told you about when the changes were made, I think three, three, four seasons ago, and the dominance of uh, yes, uh, Vettel just, okay. you know, disappeared. And Louis Hamilton came to the scene. Before that, Louis Hamilton was saying that, look, Formula One is getting pre predictable. predictable. Vettel was, was always, with McLaren at that you time. know, Vettel <laughs> was always, they made the changes, you know, and all that. So let, let's take this guy seriously. Uh, let's not um, think that uh, Mercedes will just steamroll um, everybody like, like they've done uh, in, in, in times past. past. Especially now that they have the advantage of the car. And, you know, guys that are good drivers, uh, Perez, not, not, not bad. Uh, can't really say much about Esteban, though, but I, I know that Perez is still a good He's driver. He's a good driver, okay. All right, uh, so uh, we uh, move on. Um, and I um, want to tell you that uh, you are an integral part of everything we're doing on the show, so we want you to react to everything that we've said already. Um, and probably there are things you want to talk about that we've not even mentioned. You can also throw that in quickly on the show this morning. You can send us a mail, sports this morning, at channelstv.com. Uh, you can go to Facebook if that's your thing and that's what you like to do. It is Channels iPhone Sports. Then you can also go to our verified handle on Twitter. It is at Channels underscore sports. Speak up and be heard this morning. Let's get your views. Let's get your thoughts. And uh, let's talk sports this morning on the show. Okay, we're talking sport this morning, and from there, we're moving straight to golf. And what's happening there? Justin, Thomas, and Adam score. They're actually preparing for the Honda Classic. And when you're looking at these two players, what they've done so far this year, it seems they will just be the guys to beat. But then, we're having someone like Jason Day and having another guy, Dustin Johnson, all of them starting the season on a very high. So you will know that it's going to be a tough season for most of the golf players. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and of course, uh, their eyes, um, uh, you know, looking towards the rankings um, as well is important when you have some of these top players. We're talking about the Honda Classic uh, in, in this one. Uh, the defending champion, uh, uh, Thomas, um, is, is still in this one, uh, has a good chance of winning it. Golf is not like some other sports uh, where, you know, a defending champion, you, you could always <laughs> al almost say that he'll win. You know, a, a lot of factors. Yeah. Someone that you didn't even take notice of. Uh, before an event might uh, turn out um, to be the winner. But, but it's interesting, we see all of this. There's a new world order in golf, uh, yeah. anyway. Yeah, uh, that's the way. Now, 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 now you see the top guy struggling. Uh, golf is not about Tiger Woods, anyway. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of things have changed. We also saw how uh, the, the Irishman struggled <laughs> two years ago, got back, Mark, uh, right. got back last year. So we're seeing a lot of things, new guys emerging, uh, and a couple of Africans mm -hmm. Um, do, South Africans also uh, doing well. But for the other classic, I think I'm looking more into the aftermath to see what's going to happen to the rankings. To the rankings, uh, definitely, because for uh, Justin Thomas and Adam Scott, that's what they really are talking about. We'll listen to them now. Uh, it's a list you can never get taken off of. It's you, You're the best in the world. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what profession, what your job is. I mean, that's what I've always believed is I play whatever sport I ended up playing, I did it to be the best in the world. And 